This is the grade four weekly word problem for January 4th through 6th. Okay, so I'm going to read the problem, see what they're asking me to do. It says a vase can hold five flowers. If a florist had 592 flowers, I'm going to go ahead and write 592 in standard form. If a florist had 592 flowers, she wanted to put equally into vases, how many flowers would be in the last vase that isn't full? Hmm, they're giving me some information there when they're saying how many flowers would be in the last vase that isn't full. That's telling me that there's going to be some kind of a remainder if the last vase isn't going to be full. So let me go ahead and write my answer statement. Remember, I look at my question, how many flowers would be in the last vase that isn't full? Okay, blank or mm flowers would be in the last vase. Now we know this answer is going to have to be less than five, okay, because they're saying that a vase can hold five flowers. So I'm thinking about what I already know, so that when I get done and I look at this, if I have a number larger than five, I know I did something wrong or I didn't answer the question correctly. Okay, so let me see how I can represent this before I solve it. Okay, I'm looking for how many flowers... So the thing I'm looking for is flowers. Now, when I read this, it says a florist had 592 flowers. So they are giving me a total. So I'm going to make my bar. I know there are 592 flowers. Okay. Now, they want us to put five flowers in each vase. So that means I have to find out how many fives are in 592? Well, I'm not going to count, skip count fives all the way to 592. But to represent this on a bar model, I can show that I'm going to be doing 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 to see how many fives go into 592. Which means my equation would be 592, my total, divided by how many are in a vase would give me, I'll just put F for flowers. Now this isn't going to give me my answer because my answer is actually going to be what the remainder is. They say they don't want to know how many full vases you're going to have. That's why you got to be careful with word problems. They want to know how many flowers would be in the last vase that isn't full. Okay, so in order to do that though, I do need to divide. So I'm going to set up my, my problem. Remember, this is called my dividend. This is my divisor. So when I see that my dividend is 592 and my divisor is 5, I know I'm going to be thinking of my 5 facts or my multiples of 5. I need to see how many 5s will go into 592. I look at my largest place and it's hundreds. So I think to myself, can I multiply 5 by 100 or 200 or 300 to get as close to 592 as possible without going over? And I can. I can do this. And I'm going to put 100 times 5. I can do 100 times 5 because 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 100 is 500. So again, I'm doing this is going to be my partial quotient. Part of my answer is going to be 100. So now I have to take 100 times 5 is 500. My next step is to subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 5 minus 5 is 0. I don't need to put the 0 there. If you want to, you can. But now I don't have hundreds. Okay, now I don't have hundreds, so I'm thinking of tenths. And if I know, 
I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to list some multiples. Okay. I know five times one is five. I'm going to skip count 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now, if you don't want to keep doing that, you could think of the one that you know, the biggest one that you know um, without having to list them all. And I do know that 5 times 10 is 50. So why don't we just do this? 10 times 5 is 50. So again, this is going to be part of my answer, part of my quotient. 2 minus 0 is 2. 9 minus 5 is 4. Okay, so now think of what you know about 42 and 5. 5 times what will get us as close to 42 as we can without going over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 times 8 is 40. And I subtract and get 2. Now my quotient is going to be 110 and 8 and 118. 118 remainder 2. Now is that the answer to my question? This is where you have to be careful. This is why having this answer statement is so so helpful. Blank flowers would be in the last vase. That remainder, you're gonna have two leftover flowers that would be in the last vase that isn't full two flowers would be in the last vase. So again, my suggestion always, write answer statements. Make a bar model to represent your problem. Then solve it, and then check back over in your answer statement to make sure your answer makes sense.